Now the panels are connected in series and we have a positive over here and a negative over here. And the system's pretty much done. Let's drive it over to the other trailer. And it's actually in position now. So we'll come back in the morning when the sun comes up and we'll see how much power we can milk from this array. So good morning. We need to hook this up to the second solar trailer and run some wire. And we're gonna use 50 foot 10 gauge solar extension cables by Rich Solar. The red is the negative and the black is the positive. That's not good. I just woke up so I'm a bit tired. <laughs> And I've been sick. Some people noticed in my last video that I wasn't my usual self. I don't feel very good at all. We have six 12 volt rich solar panels with a open circuit voltage of 20 volts. So if we put these in series, how they are configured right now, we should have a voltage open circuit of 120 volts. And I already have an AC output connection right here. So we're gonna run an entry gland so that the power from that solar array can go to our inverter chargers. <laughs> And I've never used this before. This is by Cutting Edge Power and it's 3D printed. I bought it off of Amazon. So we'll see how it holds up. So far, it's actually very strong. I really need a 3D printer, man. Please let me know what you guys recommend down below. I got the whole crypto thing down, so I got that going for me. So first the positive and the negative this is so nice holy cow i like this this is really nice so now we have 120 volts going in so we need to connect it to our mppt i could have just used 30 foot cables because this is pretty excessive but i can park either trailer wherever i want so it's actually kind of nice and the lv6548 can handle two separate solar arrays so we're going to hook it up and see what happens now we have a positive and negative conductor, and here's our solar panel array, but before we connect it, I'm gonna check the voltage. Because if we have reverse polarity and we connect it to this charge controller, it could destroy it. So let's go check it out real quick. We have 127 volts. The sun is not even up and we're pulling the full voltage, so that's a good sign. And the polarity is correct, so positive is red and negative is black. So the red conductor is negative on this. I just noticed red, black, black, red. So we're gonna have to reverse. We're gonna put this onto the positive solar array wire and this on the negative. And that's it. That is so cool. And it shows we have 89 volts working voltage now that it's connected. So the voltage that I tested at the leads was the voltage open circuit. But there's zero watts coming in, so we need to wait until the sun actually hits those panels. But it's connected and working, so let's come back in a few hours and see how much power we're pumping. And I forgot to mention that I added an air conditioner. And this air conditioner cools this trailer off in a few minutes. It only pulls a thousand watts and it's 10,000 BTU. I installed it yesterday. And we can use this as a load for long-term testing for all-in-one systems and inverters. And these are not very efficient, but that's totally Totally fine because I need an actual load I have so much solar now and I want to test these inverters but yeah this will serve as a constant load in the summer which is gonna be awesome so we have full sunshine now but the Sun is not directly overhead quite yet but we are producing a lot of power right now and I also shortened the solar extension cables to 25 feet and the working voltage is 107 volts right now so we're producing 740 watts and the sun is not all the way up yet. That is really good. Gosh, this trailer is so cool, man. And now I jumped to 755 watts. And on the roof of this trailer, we're pulling 444 watts. So we're pushing 1.1 kilowatts directly into this battery. And we're running the air conditioner. Holy cow. And right now it's blowing cold. So how cool is that? It's already getting hot. I live in Las Vegas, so it's very hot here. But it actually works. It's a, a working system. And something else I want to share is how much power I've used from this inverter in the last month. 
So check it out, we've done 0.1 megawatt hours or over 100 kilowatt hours. And at the output, we've pushed 66.8 kilowatt hours. But my testing doesn't mean much because this is a UL certified unit. So I expect it to work flawlessly. So the LV6548 is pretty incredible, but I wanna test new all-in-one systems. And right here we have the new GrowWatt. And this is a 48 volt, 3000 watt, but this does not require a battery. So we're gonna try running that air conditioner without a battery, how cool is that? And we're also gonna test out the new Renogy all-in-one system. And this thing is much smaller than the GrowWatt. It's pretty light too, and the standby consumption is lower. So I have high hopes for this thing. I think this thing's gonna be great. But all three of these are incredible. I love these all-in-one systems these days. They're just so nice, they do everything. And this is the output for the air conditioner. It's blowing hot air. But I need to go to the marine store and get a vent to cover this hole. Because that looks just awful. I'm sorry, guys. And what I love about this new solar trailer is I plan to use this for my own personal use. So I can lift these solar panels off in minutes with a friend. And I can tow it with my golf cart and charge the golf cart while I'm moving because that golf cart has an all-in-one system with an MPPT. So I can actually take the output of this, charge the golf cart, and I should be able to drive it forever. So yeah, pretty nice, guys. This was really cheap. $2,000 for the trailer, $50 for the wood, and the solar panels were $1,200. But that's pretty much it connected to the solar trailer and I'm producing a lot of power. And the main reason I chose this over a ground mount array for testing systems is I can add and remove panels very quickly and I can move this in my yard. If I had a permanent ground mount, I would not be able to move it and that would be a big pain in the butt because I like using my driveway for other things. I can actually just lift this thing up and move it over there anytime I need to. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the update video. We'll have more videos to come. I've been sick for the last week but I'm feeling a lot better now. So I will talk to you guys soon and thanks for watching. Bye.